today's video i'm going to teach you how to design shirts like cactus plant flea market or cpfm they're also the mastermind behind a lot of staple streetwear pieces like these that you have definitely seen before so without further ado let's go Yo, what is good is Dixon, your boy from Intuitive Designs. This tutorial is very easy, but it does require more practice to hone in on the technique. Now, the standard to achieve this kind of static really isn't that high, to be honest. And I genuinely believe that anyone can do this. So the tools they need for this tutorial are Photoshop, of course, and the hard run brush tool. And that is it. Jumping straight into it, the file size is a 2 or 4961 by 7016 pixels at 300 dpi. This is also the average print size for those who didn't know. Now we're going to select the brush tool, which is this one right here. Right click and then select hard round pressure size. Set the hardness to 100% and the size to 40. And then set the opacity to 100% and then the same for the flow. Make sure that these two buttons are turned off like so. We don't want to use any um, added effects at all. We're just going to keep it completely raw. And then I'm gonna switch these colors by pressing X on your keyboard so that it is set in white, right? So the key to this design style is you need to have image references. You can use whatever subject you want. For example, I've downloaded these two and then place them side by side. Basically what we're gonna do is trace the outline of the images. Now the key is to not do it perfectly. You want it to be as cartoonish as possible, almost like a kid's drawing to be honest, but you know, size proportionate. So create a new layer by clicking on this. Let's rename this to skull since I'm going to start with it first. Now I'm just going to go around it like this in one stroke and then let go. Do it again in one stroke and let go. By the way, I'm just using a mouse, not a graphics tablet. Obviously having a tablet helps a lot, but I want to show you guys that using a mouse can get it done as well. So this is basically it. A lot of strokes and undos for, you know, for the mistakes. Remember the key is to make it look cartoonish. So don't worry about making a perfect line. You know, um, you can get all wonky like what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm just going to go around uh, the top of the skull. Now the eye socket of the skull and then the nose. Now I'm going to go around it and add some cracks and dots for it to have more characteristics. Now, if I turn off the skull image references, we have the outline of it done. I know it looks pretty bad right now, but it will get better later. Now let's do the same thing to the planet Earth. For this one, I'm going to create two new layers, one for the land area and another one for the ocean. But yeah, same thing as before, stroke, let go, stroke, let go. No perfect lines, just shaky hands. So yeah, and then we'll fill in the land area or where it's needed. Now the second layer, I'm just gonna size up the brush and then just go about it like this. Okay, now comes to part for the colors. I'm using this one for reference, but a brief explanation to colors that CPFM use. They always go with bold primary colors, no gradient or shading, just solid color. We can just use the eyedropper tool to extract the colors, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, if you want to make this style your own, I would suggest you create other color combos and then really experiment with it to find your own style. Moving on, I'm going to take this green for the land area of my design and then just eyeball the blue color for the ocean. Next, I'm going to take this yellow for the skull and then take this red for the base of the skull. Of course, add a new layer and then put it behind the skull layer and then just go crazy like this. Don't worry about keeping it inside of the skull outline. You can overspill it and it will still look relatively good. So now you can replace the elements however you like. For this tutorial though, I'm just gonna keep it as simple as possible and then just stick to the layout. I feel like it's a bit empty, so I'm gonna add a pink lightning in the middle of the design, kind of like separating the skull and the earth. Obviously, this is all very generic stuff, but it's just a tutorial and for you, you can spend more time coming up with better ideas and execution. 
I'm gonna paint the text and let's extract the off-white color. Right click, size it down to only 10 because we'll make it bolder later. So I've decided to go with damaged goods for the brand name. I'm gonna start off with the letter D, just like this. You can make each of the letters as wide or as thin as you like, but just gotta make sure that the kerning in between those letters is consistent. Now for the goods. Next, I'm gonna make the text bolder. I'm actually really liking this design so far. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now for the final part, it's optional. I feel like there's a lot of empty spaces around the design. So I'm gonna scatter some stars around it like this. We're pretty much done. Now I'm just rearranging some of the elements, just minor edits. Now let's mock it up and show you guys the final result. That is all for today guys, hope you learned something new today and can add this to your design skill set. Remember you need a lot of practice to master this style, just keep designing and I guarantee you, you will definitely get it in the end. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out my content, see ya.